few years since I opened one of these, uh, maybe more than 10 years. And it's really more to refresh my memory and I'm just going to put it up so others can see. This is a little different, an ordinary um, can, aerosol can. You have a propellant, you have a fluid down on the bottom, liquid, and essentially most of the times, and that propellant is on top, it pushes through a straw here and comes up through the top. This is different. This has a bag inside and the propellant is around that within the can of course. And what that means is that the propellant doesn't actually ever come in contact with the substance that is being propelled. That is completely different from how most of the other cans work. Most of your other cans you will have propellant and what is being propelled is integrally in contact, it's mixed. So I'm just going to cut this in and just have a quick look, just refresh my memory and try it up. Maybe someone could build something. So as I said, nothing in here, just a can and this is where the propellant really is, it's inside this. And then this is the bag I mentioned before and what it is is just a bag. Right? The propellant is not inside here, it's on the outside and basically it squeezes this bag and squeezes the mixture in here through this. I believe the reason they have to go through this and this is because the propellant reacts with the substance being um, propelled and in that case you need to isolate them. Um, in most cases you wouldn't need to so I think just the extra effort isn't worth it. In fact I could be counterproductive if it wasn't a gel. If it was another um, uh, substance it would basically be a little counterproductive the liquid will not flow as well under these conditions you wouldn't get the same kind of pressure I think like I have so to make quick work of that I mean this is really uh, practically negligible gauge material so let me try to pull this out with one hand and as I mentioned it really is just a bag let me try to pull this out and then start back one final look haven't ripped out so foil coating and having ripped out this thing, you see the fluid in there, that's the shaving gel in there. There's a straw in here, which, oh, that's going to be a little difficult to get over one hand. I'll try to fish that out, but you could see it, that's it there. And then this is the cap on top, basically, well, just press this and essentially open the valve in here. Spring loaded, simple valve, basic stuff.